All right, I'm gonna take you through a little bit of the fundamentals of the R1M uh, reciprocal lap. And it's pretty straightforward, but there are some really important things that when you have to do any adjustment or repair, or if you're just maintaining your lap, that these things are very important. So if you ever replace these main bearings, one of the most important things is that you get the shaft vertical. Uh, if it's leaning a little bit on an angle, then that weight, the weight out here is gonna be going from high to low uh, based on the lean of it. So uh, you have to watch that. Then the other thing is, is that this collar here, it's got locators on this main shaft that set the offset perfectly so that when it's running, the counterweight is exactly opposite of the offset. If these screws ever are get loosened or if somebody takes it apart, changes bearings and then doesn't put this back on and locate it properly, then you're gonna get excess vibration. And one of the things that's very true about the R1M is that if you're getting excess vibration, you do not want to run it in that condition. You want to find the cause and resolve it. If you run it with excess vibration, it's going to tear things up. Um, now, having said that, the next piece to look at, because if you look at this assembly, it's really very simple. The, the counterweight's not on there yet, but it just extends out from that hub. Then the next piece that's really critical is this main plate goes on here. And I'll shoot another little video when I show that part. But there's an L bracket that holds this on. Now, we discovered that that L bracket really has to be strong. So we went to a much, much thicker steel on that. But one of the things that I've noticed is every now and then, uh, because there is a lot of movement in this machine, that if these bolts get a little loose on that L bracket, that you'll hear a little tiny squeaking, but you'll notice that the machine will shake a lot more. Well, what that's telling you is that whole pan is shifting back and forth, a very small amount, it might only be a 16th of an inch or even a 30 second, but that movement is too much. So if you hear a squeaking and it's got excess vibration, first thing to check is check the bolt here. And then if we look at the main pan, the main pan, because it's two-sided, it's got two bolt holes that you check the bolt that's going into that. And that's the core, that's the core things that are key in keeping your machine balanced and running smooth. What's amazing about this machine, this, this plate's got a huge amount of mass. And the counterweight, what the counterweight does is the throw on this, I think it's like 3 sixteenths of an inch it's a very small throw, but that movement is just enough to create a really good uh, reciprocal action on the slabs that are running in it. But if that plate starts shifting because something starts to come loose, then that vibration will be very destructive. It's like the difference between running smoothly and, and something like a jackhammer. And usually the first, the first uh, casualty is this bearing the top bearing in here that's underneath it so if you wipe out a top bearing almost always it's because that there was uh, some something loose and some vibration occurring now because this bearing does take a lot of abuse it does have a limited life um, so it is an easy part to replace it's not an expensive part but if you start getting slop in the bearing you don't want to keep running it if you keep running it, then it's going to damage the shaft. And then you are spending more replacing the whole shaft where if you just replace the bearing, it's not that bad. Uh, so that's kind of an overview of uh, the assembly and some thoughts on maintaining and keeping it running smoothly. Um, and of course, you want to lube your bearings on a regular basis because they're doing a fair amount of work in this thing.